hard to decide at the beginning. Shout out to whoever is building here. I don't know you. If I'm not supposed to do this, maybe bring your project out. I'm sorry, but I just needed people to see that uh, the other people who are building with sand bags. The other day I came, I couldn't see stuff like this because there were a lot of sand bags piled up. Now I can't even see it hidden. That is so nice. I thought this thing would never work, but I've seen a place where you can see the sand bag being arranged. Let me show you. <laughs> like pipes, you know. Hey, what's up, family? How is everybody doing? My name is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, you know what to do, right? Just click on the subscription button. No, there's a lot of flies in Ghana. No, not only in Ghana, in Asebu. No, not only in Asebu, in the whole world, you know what I'm saying? But you have to deal with it. When it comes to places like this in a virgin forest, uh, you get a lot of, you know, these insects coming your way and all that. So you need to be like doing all that. So beautiful family. Today is a beautiful Monday, 11th of April, 2022. I know you'll be wondering, hey, Akwa, where have you been? We've not seen any video of Asebu and everything, I'm like, yes, I know that it's been a while that I brought you content from Asebu. Yes, because I was a little bit busy with other stuff. Now I am here, and this is a real-time video that I'm making for you on the Monday 11th of April 2022. So beautiful wise, Asebu Pan-African project is developing. Honestly, um, if you can see behind me, this is a structure that wasn't there I think a year ago, but you have it right now. If you look the left or the right, sorry, you would find that there's another project ongoing. There's another fence that has been uh, built here, another project. Just a few days ago, I came here with a family, Mr. and Mrs. Goyne. I think they're from St. Louis. Yes, they came and I showed them their land and now they have somebody working on it. That is a beautiful part of what I can do to support you, the diaspora. And hey, I know that I've delayed a lot of people concerning certain things that we have to do. Now, there's this little explanation or challenge that I think I have to explain to you. The first phase is done. You know, the first phase was about 300 plus plots. And we have a lot of people who have already come for the plot. Now, they are on the second phase. The little challenge with the second phase is that when you make payment now, you may not be able to clear your land or start to build. Why? Because, you know, honestly, before we decided to give out these plots, there were people who were already on the plot, okay, or on the land, farming. They are, you know, average people in the Asebu community whose life only depends on whatever they grow and whatever they harvest. So when you come and buy the plot, it is morally right for the um, Asebu officials to call the farmers and say, hey, I know this land was given to you just to farm on it, but the rightful owner, which is you, have made payment and that you will love to come and build so that when you come, you will have a better place to sleep. Now, the issue is that when they call the farmers, they would have to count the number of trees or fruits or whatever they have on the land. So Asebu is one of the communities that produces citrus fruits. So we're talking about lime, lemon, orange and stuff. So there are a lot of such trees on the land and then palm nut trees. So then they would have to call the land or the farmer and say, hey, count the number of trees or the number of fruits you have. Then we can make payments so that the rightful owner of the land can come forward and clear the property. 
That is the issue with the second phase. But it's something that they are working on. They've already done a couple of them. So if you're watching me and you've made payments or you've acquired a property here on the second phase and you are getting a little delay on you know clearing the land or putting up your fence, it is nobody's problem. It is nobody's issue. It is our issue. Like I said, morally, we are taking um, whatever feeds these people out of their hands, out of their mouths, right? And so we have to morally compensate them for whatever work they've put on the land. You can attest with me, those of you who I have cleared your plot, when I was doing that, I showed you a video while they were doing it, and then you were like, oh, they are, they are putting down the mango, they are putting down the orange trees, oh, I wish I could keep them. You could keep them, it's not yours, it's for somebody. But, but I said that, hey, Asebu is looking beautiful. Um, I came here with a brother from the UK. Okay, he said, Echo, uh, when I was in the plane coming, uh, somebody spoke to me about a project that is going on. So he called and was like, Echo, I want to come and see the place. So I came with him. So he's the brother wearing the white shirt and then I think the white down. And then the other brother, he's called Ron. Ron is my man. So Ron is also from the UK. He's now settled in Ghana. So I also helped him purchase the land here. We've cleared it. His is on the first phase. And then, mind you, they've also mounted the electricity posts. You know, this is ongoing. I remember when they started, somebody was asking, Echo, is there going to be a water? Is there going to be road? Is there going to be this? Is there going to be electricity? I'm like, yeah, but it will have to be in a gradual process. Now, we have electricity posts mounted all over the place. And very soon, I know that they will put the electric wires on it. And then when you come, you have full electricity with water. Mr. Len, the first person to stay here was making a statement that if you get your property, the first thing you need to do is to dig a borehole because there's no water running here. And most people who are building have boreholes. So it's easy for them to just get water and do what you have to do. If you are thinking of buying water every time there's supposed to be work, you might have issues because um, last month, last two months or so, Cape Coast experienced water shortage. There was no water and it affected Asebu, Salt Pond, I mean the whole of Central Region. And at this point, what would you do if there's no water running? That is why Mr. Lane also advises that when you come to Asebu, when you get your plot, please just put a ball hole on it. You know what I'm saying? So hey, thank you very much for checking me out. This is just a short video to let you know that things are happening in Asebu. And then maybe from today, I'll try and be bringing you more updates of what is happening. Shout outs to one beautiful mummy. You're from Ghana, but you live in the United States. Uh, your name, you use Rainbow. And then lately you use, ah, forgotten the name. Shout outs to you, mummy. You've always been you know, supporting, putting up comments, sharing my videos and everything. So shout outs to you, Rainbow. You attended in Phantom Man in Cape Coast. The other day you were trying to speak Fanti, mm -hmm. but your Fanti was no, 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 no. Anyway, thank you very much for checking mm -hmm. me out. We'll it's a beautiful day uh -huh. here in Asebu and uh -huh. peace. Now we do receive to now for more bed. But I share allocated plot now for the amount. It will probably more argument in paper. And I said allocation paper. Allocation paper now what we bought better plot in a man also. Okay, now we have a plot of platinum. Okay, so the platinum road, the FBI will need to do the platinum. And he says, Yeah, the ocean is high street. First phase mm -hmm. is up to this line. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This is the first phase. Mm -hmm. Second phase, you know, this is this line. That's what it's starting now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. The second phase, I have a Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm Okay, but this is here. Okay, And this is here. They will come to say other M1 One, one, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. One,